Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is The Other Side of Through. Beloved family, Our text says, Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial, because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. James 1.12 The word perseveres in this text is the word endure, to stand, to go through. So blessed is the person who goes through trial and temptation Because on the other side is a crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. What an awesome promise, family. The crown of life. For those of you who don't realize it yet, a crown is only worn by royalty, by kings and queens. No matter how you slice it, we can't get away from the kingdom and its royal promises by our King Jesus Christ. You can't separate Christ from his kingdom. Even when I'm not looking, it's looking at me. So no matter what trials we go through, God has prepared a crown for you. Can someone shout glory? Hallelujah. Come on. Did you just hear what I read? Blessed are you when trials come, when testing come. Okay, dare I say it? Even when temptations come, because he or she who endures, who perseveres, who goes through, not stand in, but goes through it. For they will receive a crown, not just any crown, but the crown of life. Paul puts it this way. Now this is the ridiculed, mocked, beaten, imprisoned, shackled, shipwrecked, viper bitten Paul. He no doubt was shown many things that he must suffer for the Lord Jesus Christ, just as he told Ananias. Paul says this, But whatever were gains to me, I now consider lost, For the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Verse 12 says, not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 7, 8, and 12 to 14. When you realize that to live is Christ and to die is gain, no trials or circumstance of life will get you downcast, depressed, or defeated. You may be hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Ah, family, God sent me to your life today to encourage you. Go through. There is a blessing on the other side of through. Okay, some of you still not convinced. Listen to what God said to Israel. Those who believe and trust in Christ the King of Israel. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, and he who formed you, Israel. Oh, I could work that, but I don't have time. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Sheba for your stead. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give you people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Isaiah 43, 1 to 4. Okay, for the heart of hearing, let me repeat this part. I am the Lord. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk 
to the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Oh, I hear Shirley Caesar saying, I feel like praising, praising him. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him all day long. I feel like praising, praising him. Okay, y'all making me dig in the crate for this one. Gospel artist James Bignon says, The light from darkness may seem to hide, but don't give up whatever you do. The presence of God is there with you. Don't stop. This word is for you. There's a blessing on the other side of through. On the other side of through, there's a blessing waiting for you. Hold fast. Your troubles will not last. There's a blessing on the other side of through. What God has prepared for you is better than what you're going through. So run this race with determination. God has prepared your destination. Don't stop. I'm telling you. On the other side of through, there's a blessing waiting for you. We have to go through in order to get to. Moses used his authority to part the Red Sea or the Sea of Reeds. When they got through, the Egyptians were in hot pursuit. But Moses had to strike the water again and it closed in on their enemies and they were destroyed. Your authority to speak to this trial you're in right now will activate God's power. No matter what you've faced or gone through thus far. Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. Be like Paul and press on. Keep going through. Toward the goal. To win the prize for which God has called you. Heavenward in Christ Jesus. There is a blessing waiting for you. On the other side of through. Much love.